what we've got here, and like I say, we've been speaking for quite a few weeks about this, and we just touch on it now. We did it. We did a, a, a big sort of in-depth thing about it, and I've changed it a little bit to, to talk about behaviour and urge, but it's usually about aliveness in the now. So these are like being aware, accepting, alignment, audacity, attention, and accumulate, and then becoming authentic, and then living your aliveness in the now. So that might not mean as much to some people as it did to the people that have been listening. So I, I do try, I'll, I'll just go through it a little bit in, in relationship to behavior and urge. And I like the word urge, because we'll come on to that in a minute, because I always say about urge, if you have urgency, then that's quite an insecure way of rocking up in the world. If you do something with urgency, it's like, it's almost like put, not doing it on your terms. And that's what being authentic is about for me. It's about living life on your terms. And for me, that's living sort of true nature, playfulness, having inner peace and knowing my boundaries. And for years, that wasn't the case. So the journey that I went on, and a lot of people have gone on, uh, is starting with the awareness that I actually wanted aliveness. I wanted to rock up in this world and do some stuff, whereas I was stuck for years. And once I had that, that awareness, I just accepted that. Acceptance is about forgiving your past, not dwelling in your past, letting go of your past, and just accepting that you want some new stuff to come into your life. And just aligning with that, you have to align with that inside inside you, not outside you, but inside you, you have to align with that awareness and acceptance. And if we think about that now, now that I'm aligned, that affects my behavior. So it's almost like you don't have to change your behavior, you just need to be in alignment with it. And there's a great word there that's audacity. How can you have the audacity to actually do stuff? How can you, that you can behave on your terms, that you can rock up in the world and you can do your stuff knowing your boundaries, knowing what you want out of life. How audacious is that? But once I realized that that, that was a thing that you could do that from self care, self love, I started to give that attention. I started to give that attention, which then just somehow leads to good behavior that suits you. And of course you'll check the ecology of how it works with other people. Cause that's what we do. And in relationships and stuff, but you, you just need to understand that if you're in a good place, then you're going to do better in the world. You're going to do better in your behavior. And the accumulate one was a positive one. I generally thought about accumulating new and fresh behaviors, new and fresh ideas, new and fresh ways of seeing the world. And that's what happens when you have an insight. And this was an insight to a to a peaceful mind for me. It was an insight to aliveness. And we'll touch on this in the conversation about how we accumulate all the old stuff, all the conditioned thinking, all the insecure thinking, all the personal thinking, how we used to accumulate that, which would then create urgency in our life, born out of insecurity. But I don't react like that anymore. I react from an authentic, grounded place. It was like I came down and just my feet landed on firmly on the floor. And if I got moved a little bit, that's fine. But I wasn't like a puppet on a string being pulled by everybody, you know, innocently by people and also not so innocently. And from that place of authenticity, you can move into a place of behavior that suits you. And you, you can call it, call it whatever you want. You can call it kindness. You can call it gratitude. You can call it forgiveness. You can call it lots of different names inner peace, joy, happiness. You can give it lots of different things. But the one thing it hasn't got in it is fearful thinking. It's fearless thinking. It's free will thinking. And I will go even one foot step further than that is I dropped out of my thinking completely. And when I dropped out of my thinking, I became more creative. Hence why I write poetry now. And whatever your aliveness is, whatever your creativity is, that's a better place to, to use your thinking. I say it week after week, I don't use my thinking anymore to, for, about my emotions. I just drop all my thinking, show up and notice how I feel. 
And if the feeling's good, that means it's in alignment with my new authenticity of inner peace, joy, playfulness, creativity. All the things that you've all got. Everybody here on this call has got this. But we just think ourselves away from it. <laughs>